Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, today we're going to be doing a product review on this Greenworks DigiPro 40 volt brushless chainsaw. It's a 16 inch and uh, not much more you can say about it. We're going to give it a shot. This is brand new out of the box. I didn't do an unboxing because you open the box and that's what you get. Uh, this is uh, I think about $120 on Amazon right now with the 40 volt battery and the charger. And the batteries are pretty expensive if you get them by, your, by themselves. So uh, here's where the battery goes. You can see it's got a couple of little springs down in there. So when you unclip the battery, it ought to pop out. And here's the oil reservoir here. got a nice little lanyard on there so you don't lose it so uh, and here's how it operates you have to push in this safety switch and then pull the trigger and that's how it works so let's put some oil in this and I got some limbs over here I want to cut up and see how this thing does I usually get my oil in gallon jugs so I do a lot of sawing This one is a little easier to fill than the other Greenworks saw because the cap sticks out a little farther. And you've got a little sight glass. You can see it's folded right there. And here's the battery that comes with it. A 4 amp hour, 40 volt, lithium max, G max battery. And the way the Greenworks batteries fit in, they have little grooves they slide in. And they usually fit kind of snug. And they, they, they clasp when they go in, it clicks. You can push the button there. See the lights light up, shows it's a full battery. So you can see how much battery you have left while you're working on it. So to turn this on, you got to push this little on off switch here. Beeps, light comes on. Push your safety switch in and pull the trigger. So one thing that's different about this saw than the, uh, the other Greenworks 40 volt saw that's a non brushless type. Uh, it's not a variable speed, it's just on or off. And this one you can adjust this, how fast it's turning by how far you pull the trigger, just like a normal gas saw would work. I was hoping to see some oil start coming out. This is where you uh, tighten your chain so you don't need a chainsaw tool. Just turn it to the right and it tightens it. And this, this is where you back off and, and tighten it. This panel here that holds the bar in place. So actually to tighten it, you need to back this off and then turn it. All right, let's uh, cut some wood. Okay, I'm going to start on this smaller stuff first and then work my way up to the big end. So it's got little bucking teeth too, which is good when you're cutting some bigger logs. You can stick that in the side and it'll work your saw like this. So we'll cut these a size will fit in my front end loader on my tractor. Pretty impressive so far. So uh, right off, one thing I noticed is the chain speed is really good. It's fast like a gas saw. Uh, it's not like uh, the other Greenworks saw that doesn't turn as fast and the DeWalt 20 volt lithium. Uh, it doesn't turn as, as fast either. So I really like the, the chain speed, cuts good. 
just like a gas saw. So one thing about it that's noticeable is, so gas saws that I have, I have some Husqvarna's, they're isolated. They, the handle is isolated from vibration and so is the back end of the saw. So when you're cutting something, you don't feel the chain hitting and bouncing and all that. It's isolated from your hands. This is not like that. Uh, but it's not bad. It's not like a gas saw that doesn't have isolation. I think it may be because of the weight. It's uh, just over 10 pounds, I think, on the specs. Okay, something I didn't point out on this saw was the chain brake. One thing I noticed about this chain brake is it's supposed to stop the chain when you're cutting if the saw jumps back into your face it'll stop the chain and it's like a positive lock but when it's locked the chain still turns so on my Husqvarna gas chainsaws when that goes forward that that is locked so that's odd so there must be an electric brake in here so let's uh let's check this out get it over here yeah it's an electric brake So that's how that works. There's another little indicator light right here. And uh, I'm not sure what that is. I haven't read the manual. It's a chainsaw, right? How hard can it be? But uh, I'm guessing that's probably a low battery is what that's for. So I just did that and we still got four lights on our, our battery which I didn't cut a whole lot but man I was really impressed with how fast it cuts through uh, that stuff so let's go uh, let's go cut down a little tree okay I decided I'm gonna go ahead and take out this uh, smaller tree in there that snapped off at the top 
and uh, it'll fall right this way and I'll be able to get that one out of there anyway. So uh, that ought to be a pretty good test for this little saw. Cut this notch out nice and easy. So cut out the little wedge so it can fall this way. So there's another piece of that limb hanging up there, that tree. I gotta watch out so I don't fall down and hit me in the head. <laughs> All right. Okay, I just had a nice shot set up where I just cut this log up here. And I guess I didn't hit record. <laughs> anyway, it's still a. Uh, it's got three lights still on the battery. So uh, I'll uh, make a couple more cuts here and shorten those two up and uh, I'll see if there's enough juice left to take that uh, stump out right there. close to the ground it's kind of an awkward position and I don't want to get this in the dirt Wow, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Okay, so my assessment of this saw is, it is really a good saw, a battery powered saw. Uh, for 40 volts and just over $200, uh, man, you can't beat this, this is awesome. Comes with a battery and a charger and uh, on a scale, out on a 10 point scale, I'd give it a nine and I'd give it a 10 if it had isolation for the handles, but uh, a saw like this, you're not going to be cutting a long time where that isolation is going to really bother you much. Uh, the the uh, chain, I uh, noticed, skipped around a little bit. I don't know if that had to do with not having isolation or not, but uh, when you put the spikes in and you're cutting a, a heavy log, you can't really crank it down because you'll stall it out and it'll beep at you when you, when you do that. But uh, you can put some pretty good torque on it. Uh, it'll, it'll pull quite a bit. So it's brand new and the chain's sharp and uh, it cut really well. I'm really impressed with it and I like it and I would buy it again. Uh, I'll put a link down below and you can check it out on Amazon. I think it's 218 right now with the battery and charger, which is awesome. I don't think you can get it uh, without a battery. Uh, you might be able to, I don't think so. But anyway, I'll put some links down below uh, give me a thumbs up if you would on the video and check out my other product reviews. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.